Aunt Wendy wants to hop in here, but I've got something I want to show you quick. All right, before Aunt Wendy hops on. What, what's that? Huh. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> We're in for round three. <laughs> Yay! You'll be a grandma again. Awesome! I love it. <laughs> That's so great. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> you. We're excited. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous because you know coronavirus, and now we'll yeah. be numbered. But <laughs> we're excited. Yeah. Aww, well, oh, well, I'm so excited. Thank you. So right. when is this, when is the, the date? May 18th. May 18th. Oh, May's an May's an awesome month. <laughs> Janelle said, what did she say? May, May 10th is a good date, too. And I'm like, yes, yes it is. If I, if I have a choice and Dr. Klubin lets me, we will induce on the 10th. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to let it on Wendy, so shh. Okay. Hey, Aunt Wendy, can you see and hear us? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We're going to try to get this to go live to Facebook. Not on my timeline. We want it in a group. Do you think Janelle fell asleep again tonight? No, I know that she's, she's um, up and about. Because I was just chatting with her via text and stuff, so. She might be struggling to get the kiddos down for bed. Yeah, because I, I always, you know, I always look at, at my time, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's an hour earlier there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, if I could type. <laughs> oh my word, I cannot type. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Some days. You ain't kidding. <laughs> This, like, whole, it gets dark at 2 o'clock in the afternoon is really messing with me. Yeah. I don't really dig the getting dark so soon, but it doesn't stop me, though. I still go out for my runs, and yeah. All right. We are live in the group, so I can watch for comments there. And we're all set and ready. Like, it's yeah. dark at 2 o'clock in the Um, all right, so I think that's all I need to do there. So now housekeeping stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, sounds good. Welcome. It is November 10th, and we are doing our Oily Fireside Chat. We've got a two-part series um, on do-it-yourself Christmas gifts. So using your essential oils, you can make some really wonderful gifts for friends and family this Christmas. And we didn't want to wait till December because... You might need to order some stuff, um, be it from Amazon, or you might need to go shopping for a few supplies. So we wanted to be sure we did it in November while you've still got plenty of time. Plus, with um, the holiday launch being yesterday, and some of those products may be being on your wish list for some of these DIYs, and then with the Black Friday sale coming up, we wanted to be sure that you had all the info you need for making your Christmas gifts this year with plenty of time to do shopping and getting supplies. 
um, and time to make it. Because, you know, if you're busy, if you're a mama or a grandma or a busy aunt, you might not have a ton of time to make stuff. So we planned it well in advance so you have enough time to make sure that everything is made. Um, if you're joining us on Zoom, as always, we love to see your smiling faces and hear your gorgeous voices, but we do post these live on YouTube, so if you would prefer not to be out for the world to see on a public YouTube forum, please do um, leave your video off and leave your sound off. When you enter Zoom, it will be automatically muted and automatically um, no video, so you can leave it that way if you'd prefer not to be on YouTube. Otherwise, we'd love to see you and hear you. So, who wants to kick us off, Janelle? And do one of you want to go first with an oily DIY Christmas gift? I'll go ahead. All right. Um, this is one that I've done many, many times. Um, whether it's been in a in a group of a few ladies or just you know gifts to give away um, to our family and our friends. Um, it's called a lemon mint sugar scrub and you can use what I've done is I've used like half pint um, jars and then you can decorate them up however you want I just was I just did something really simple I just put like fancy little ribbon around it um, put a little label on the top you know stating what it was and um, People just went wild over this stuff. And it doesn't really take a whole lot of ingredients, which which is nice. It's right up my alley. You know, simple is good. That means it's gonna be quick, easy, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Um, but it, you just need sugar, coconut oil, um, lemon juice, zest from a lemon, and then five drops of um, each of Young Living's peppermint essential oil and um, Young Living's lemon essential oil. And you just mix it all up and you um, rub it onto like your hands or even your, your forearms or whatever, your feet, whatever you want to do. Um, but it, it kind of gets rid of that excess dry skin. And then, you know, you let it, you let it sit there for a little bit. You know, really no, no time frame. It's totally up to you how, how you want to do it. Um, and then you rinse it off and your hands and feet just feel so super, super soft. And it lasts forever. I mean, like I said, it's just a, a half pint jar and it lasts quite a while because you're not using a whole lot um, of it. And so I absolutely just love this one because you, you get the invigorating scent of the peppermint and lemon together. Um, and then, of course, that cooling sensation from the peppermint itself is really cool. And peppermint, you know, and Christmas, <laughs> idea. Um, so that's one that I've done many, many times, and it's still one of my favorites. And um, I think people still call me and they'll say, hey, do you still have that recipe <laughs> that we used to do, you know, when we do our little um, DIY little workshops or whatever and sure enough i still have it so so enjoy it's super simple um i'll try to make sure that we get it so that um it can be shared um with other people so i do have i do have it and i can send it attach it to the zoom um facebook live you know we can we can get it to you so Oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, this isn't working. <laughs> um, I had planned to share my the recipes that I have in the event for tonight because you can just share it in the, like you can do a picture and then the recipe in there. So if you guys aren't invited to this event, let me know and then I can get you in there and then you can see everything just as a nice reference. Janelle and Anne, are you guys good sharing everything in the event? Just so we have one place to put it all. Awesome. Sounds good. Should I share one or do you want to share one, Janelle? No, go ahead. All right. Um, so I have a plethora of things this evening. Um, I've got, 
I wanted to go something really quick and something really cheap and something just really simple because as a mom of two little kids, I don't have a ton of time and money around the holidays is, is a little difficult. So something that I got as a Christmas gift um, several years ago that I absolutely love, I get it out every Christmas and put it on my table, is this gorgeous thing. This is a recycled Ninksha bottle. So save your Ninksha bottles. They work fantastic for holding thieves cleaner or um, bath salt mixes, um, or they make beautiful decorations. So what my upline team member did for me, it was Janelle. Um, so what Janelle did for me was she painted the bottle all white. Um, you could do green, you could do red, whatever. Um, and then she just took some Christmas decorations and glued them on. She wrapped a ribbon around it and she did this beautiful like pine cone accessory thing. And then these actually come out. So I could put in poinsettias, I could put in uh, more pine, um, pine boughs or um, whatever I want to do. So I absolutely love this. It goes on my table as a centerpiece every Christmas. I love it. Um, and I'm sure it didn't cost her that much. I mean, you could get recycled Christmas um, stuff. My TV randomly started making sound on me. Um, you could get recycled Christmas decorations um, like at Vinnie's or at Goodwill. Or if you have something as you're pulling out your Christmas decor this year and you're like, oh no, this got broken in storage, that's not good. You can definitely recycle it and you could end up making this for absolutely free. So that's really great, super fast, super easy, and can be ridiculously cheap. Um, Something else that I wanted to share, because I've got a lot, so I'm just going to do two at a time. Um, something else that you can do, Young Living has vitamin, um, it's V6 vegetable oil complex, and this stuff, you can get it in a smaller bottle and in this really nice refillable bottle, and so I love making um, a cuticle oil for friends and family, so you just get a little rollerball like this. Or you can recycle your empty essential oil bottles, just clean it out really good. Or if you're gonna be putting some of those oils in there, you don't even have to rinse it out. And then you get a rollerball top attachment. Young Living has them, Amazon also has them. Um, so you just put a little bit of V6 in there. Um, I would actually do your oils first so that you know how much room you're gonna have. Um, but you can make your own massage oil blends. Young Living has really great ones. They've got Dragon Time, they've got Ortho Ease, they've got Ortho Sport, they've got Relaxation, Sensation. Um, those are all great massage oils. But some people like to mix their own, like with the new vanilla that we have. You could do like a vanilla lavender patchouli blend and that would be a fantastic massage. Um, there really, if you just go to Pinterest and type in essential oil massage oil blends, there are countless recipes. So doing that is a really quick and easy, it's just dropping in some oils, filling it up with V6 and popping the cap on. So that's really quick and easy. And if you're doing it, um, in a small, am I talking about massage oils or cuticle oils? I forget which one I started with. <laughs> Did you started with cuticle oil. Started with cuticle. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm covering three at a time. So this is the one I had. I'm holding the cute. I told you guys this has been a long week. I told you this is going to be a rough night. Okay. So you can do a cuticle oil massage blend. I will find. I will pull up the thing for that recipe. All right. Massage oils is the other one I wasn't holding but was talking about. So. This is a bigger one, but you can get smaller ones of these. And again, um, if you're wanting to reuse empty essential oil bottles, like I would do the 15 mLs. I would not do the 5 mLs for these. For the cuticle oil, you could do a 5 or a 15 ml. The, the massage oil ones, um, I believe this is a 6 ounce amber bottle. Um, 2 ounce ones work great. Um, I've done sets of massage oils with like 3... Um, two ounce amber bottles and just three different massage oil combos and that went over really really well with the ladies. Um, that also is a good Valentine's Day gift as well. Um, so that's that one. I will let Janelle take one while I reassemble my brain cells and grab my tab with my cuticle oil. <laughs> it's a rough night. We're all humans. I'm not perfect. 
All right, let me grab my tab with the cute little oil recipe now that I've totally confused the crap out of her. <laughs> I don't have as much to talk about tonight with uh, for Tessa. Um, I love the idea of DIY. I'm just gonna be full disclosure here. I love the idea of DIY. I think it's super cool. I admire people who do a lot of DIY, but I myself am not a DIYer. If I can find it pre-made, already done, thank you Young Living for doing that with a lot of things, I just buy it pre-made because I, I have four kids. I don't got time for that. So anyways, but there is, um, so the gift that Tessa showed you is probably the craftiest thing that I've ever done. And I think that was a couple kids ago. So I had a little bit more time then. <laughs> anyways, um, one of the recipes that I saw that I wanted to do for a while, it's actually not a new recipe. It is like, it's a homemade soap recipe. So very basic ingredients. You've got Castile soap. Um, you can add in some vegetable glycerin, maybe some vitamin E, um, distilled water, and then the essential oils of your choice. I love Christmas spirit at this time of year. I mean, I love it all, all year long, but Christmas spirit, especially, or like a pine or Northern Lights black spruce with like a little orange is really good to mix in there. Um, but what I saw that was super cool is you can get the, those mason jar soap dispenser, well, like mason jars, and then you get the soap dispenser tops to them. And you can paint the mason jar to be whatever you want. You can paint it to be like a snowman or Santa or like a candy cane. And I thought that that was a really neat and easy way to make a Christmas decoration, but like a really thoughtful, I thought, oh, maybe I should put the kids to work and do that as like a teacher Christmas gift. Cause that would be super, super cool. And you could just customize it however you wanted um, with the mason jars. So it's on my list of things to do. Whether or not it'll actually happen this Christmas is completely a different story, but <laughs> there's that. Um, yeah, there's that. The other, the other DIY that I've done before, which I have not perfected, is lip balm. I've done that before for people, um, like as little gifts. And it's actually, it's fairly cost effective. It, it, it doesn't cost a lot to make, um, but it is it requires time and patience. Um, and the ingredients are simple. It's beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil, your essential oils. I think that's about it. It takes a lot of patience because you have to wait for the everything to melt and to like mix nicely and not be gritty. And I don't really have a lot of patience waiting for things. So maybe that's my problem, <laughs> but it is, it is an awesome little DIY gift. Um, you can get the little like, um, lip balm dispensers on Amazon. You can get like 50 for super, super cheap. So if you have more patience than me, that would be a super awesome and fairly inexpensive, um, gift that you could do. I mean, when you, when you, Think about the ingredients and how many you're able to make. I mean, it, I, I bet it costs less than a dollar to make like for each tube. Um, I don't know what price exactly it is, but I remember it making a lot. Um, and we only did a half a batch too when, when I did it. So if you've got more patience than I am waiting for things, that'd be a good one to check out. And you could do whatever. The only thing that I would be cautious about with lip balm is um, citrusy oils. I mean, granted, in the wintertime, we're not out in the sun a lot, but maybe somebody forgets that there's citrus oils in it and like puts it on in the summertime and goes and spends the day at the ballpark, their lips are going to totally blister. So I would stick with like the safer oils, maybe your lavender, something of that nature versus your citrusy oils. That'd be my only, my only recommendation. Okay, that's all I got. Tessa, it's on you. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if my brain's all together yet, but I can I'll I'll do the cuticle oil since I started that one and then Anne can do her next one. So the cuticle oil that I started with but didn't have my tab up for yet. <laughs> I tell you, some days. So the cuticle oil that I like to make for friends is just a roller ball like this, or I was saying you can reuse the empty five or fifteen mLs. Um this mix does multiples of these. So this, like, if you follow this recipe exactly, it's not going to fit in a 10 ml or your 5 ml, and it'll be a little bit too much if you reuse a 15 ml bottle. 
Um, so this recipe, the recipe that I've done for friends is 12 drops of lemon essential oil, 12 drops of rosemary essential oil, 12 drops of lavender essential oil. And then I just um, do about four to five teaspoons of V6. Um, it works fantastic for um, your cuticles. You rub it on winter time, things get like all chapped and, and um, like kind of cracky and falling apart. A lot of people who work in factories have that problem year round. So this has been a really well received um, gift. Some other oils that I've put in for certain people, depending upon what their needs are or depending upon what other lotions they're using. Grapefruit is a good one, but like Janelle was saying, not good for summertime. That one I've only done for winter time. Um, eucalyptus is a good one. Tea tree is an amazing skin oil. So if somebody has like a lot of like breakouts on their hands all over, I'll put it in tea tree just because that one's super great for skin. Frankincense is another really good one that I like to put in there, especially around Christmas time because it's a very Christmassy scent. <coughs> that is the cuticle oil that I started and now I finish it. So, and you're up. Great. All right. Um, so mine's kind of, you know, kind of a themed thing tonight. Maybe, maybe this is really more speaking to myself. Maybe I need to relax a little bit. But so, you know, we did the lemon mint sugar scrub. And now we're going to talk about a little bit of a therapeutic bath soak, um, which is phenomenal. And again, you only need just a few little items. Um, pretty much, you probably have everything in your cupboards except for dry milk powder, because that's one thing that I don't have in my cupboard all the time. Um, so, so pretty much it's the dry milk powder, baking soda, cornstarch, um, sea salt, and then whatever you want for your essential oil. Now, here's my suggestion. Lavender and stress away together. Um, you could put anywhere between 24 to 48 drops of those bad boys in this stuff. And then you just, when you're running your bath, um, not that I, not that I myself can actually sit still long enough to actually take advantage of the soaking in the bathtub. But for some people, soaking in the bathtub is great. I'm one, I, I've got too much stuff to do. Um, so you just mix it all together. When you're running your bath, you just dump the little container in. I got the, um, the little square, um, like, um, disposable little plastic containers from Walmart. You can get like, 10 of them at you know at a time for like two bucks um so that's what i used um to be able to give them away at different uh, workshops that i've done and stuff so that people could do their own their own oils um in this mixture um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be lavender or or stress away but if I'm going to be relaxing, those are the two oils I'm going to go to. Um, and again, you know, when you're, when you're done, your, your skin is just going to feel so nice and soft and smooth, and you are going to be relaxed. Um, so, so if I was, you know, going to give this away as a gift, um, you know, obviously I would be thinking, okay, so I'm not going to just work on one person for this. I'm going to, I'm going to probably do six to ten different individuals and bless them with the sugar scrub and the bath soak um, because it's gonna you know it's gonna go far um, it's economical and you know and people will be able just to chill out so that's it peace and calming would be another good one to put in there that would that would make a nice bath I, I like peace and calming. That would that would be a good bet. I love peace and calming. <laughs> I can never get enough peace and calming. <laughs> Gentle baby might be a good option too, especially if you've got little kiddos. Like you could do a bath for little kids with Gentle Baby. That would be a good one for I sure. Like that one. Cool. Um. 
So speaking of little kiddos, Karis is super into Play-Doh right now. Everything is Play-Doh. And so not that I'm a fan of it because I can't get it out of my carpet, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, so a recipe that I found that she's going to be helping me with this year, which would be great for if you're nannying or if you've got grandbabies coming over or great nieces and nephews, um, or if you're a mama like me with little Play-Doh age kids, um, there are essential oil diffuser ornaments. So what you need is air drying clay, and then everyone's got Christmas cookie cutters, right? And then you can do some stamps, or you can like hand stencil some drawings in there, or you can just leave it as the cookie cutter shape, and then you can have the kiddos paint it after it's dry. Um, obviously like a rolling pin to roll out the clay, and I would suggest paper plates so that your clay doesn't get all over your carpet or your tablecloth. Uh, but if you've got a nice wood uh, polish or a nice wood varnish table, then it won't stick to that. You're, you'll be fine. And then you need some essential oils of choice. Uh, we're going to be using Christmas spirit and some pine. And I think Kara switched out lavender because she likes it. Um, she also likes anything pink, so we may end up with some LME. Christmas ornaments. <laughs> they won't smell Christmassy, but she loves the color pink, so we'll probably end up with a few of those. Um, but for sure, Christmas spirit and the pine are what I will be pushing for this project. Um, so air drying clay, super easy to work with. It's like Play-Doh, you just roll it out, do the cookie cutter. I would also use like a straw for like put a hole in the top, and then you can feed some ribbon through it. Otherwise, they'll just kind of like sit on the tree, which they might fall off if your house vibrates a lot like mine. So I would suggest using a straw or a pencil or something of that nature and poking a hole in the top and then you can feed ribbon through it so it's an actual ornament. Um, so you just roll it out, you cut it out, make sure you put your hole in there and then um, put your essential oils on both sides and then um, just leave it dry on a paper plate. I think it's like overnight. Um, you can also do oven bake clay if you want to do that as well. Um, those are a little bit more fragile, so if you've got tiny kids and you're hoping to paint them afterwards, uh, just be aware that that's more of the ceramic line than it is, like, not moldable. But air dry clay, if you drop it, it's a little bit more forgiving than a ceramic baked clay. So, just something to keep in mind, but both work. I've done both. They both work great. So, that's a really good option if you've got littles, is to do diffuser ornaments for your Christmas tree. Especially if you have a fake tree and you love that smell of pine, this is a really great way to still get the smell of Christmas coming off of your tree, but you can have a fake tree and not have needles everywhere. Um, and then the other thing I was going to share with you tonight is um, do-it-yourself beard oils. So these are really great for men. We've been talking kind of more in the women's spa care kind of a line. Um, but beard oil is something I make for Luke a lot and I've made for um, some of like my brother-in-laws and some of the guys um, that my husband hangs out with at church and they love this. It's really good for like if you've got really coarse beard hair and it itches. Yeah, I totally know what that feels like. I don't know why I'm rubbing my shit. Like, I don't know what that feels like. Anyway, if guys are super itchy or whatever um, or if they've got dandruff or if they've got skin issues, holy mask problem for guys in our lives right now. Guys with beards are really struggling with skin issues with those masks. It's just causing problems. Um, if they've got longer beards, it can cause like tangling in there. So beard oil makes a really great gift for the men in your life. I got raving reviews about the two years that I've given this, so I will be definitely making it again this year. Um, there's a bunch of different carrier oils. I've tried a bunch. Most are really expensive. I just go back to this one. So three of the gifts I've mentioned now all go back to this guy. So just get yourself a bottle of V6. It'll make Christmas much easier this year. And then things to put in there, like if they're wanting more beard growth, lavender is a really good one. Otherwise, if you're just going for like more of a manly smell, Luke loves Northern Lights Black Spruce. So Northern Lights Black Spruce with orange is a really good combo. Um, Luke also loves Valor, so I've done a beard oil with just Valor, and that's really good. It gives him, like, courage and confidence as he goes to work. Um, another good manly combo is bergamot and rosemary, lavender, and clove. Um, so, like, 
it depends on what size bottle you're using. I don't generally do it this big. I usually go more of the two ounce amber bottles. And I think for that, I do um, like probably 20 to 30 drops total in that bottle of whatever oil you're using. So if you're doing just Valor, it would be like 20, 25 drops of the Valor. Or if you're uh, mixing it up between four oils, like if you do the bergamot, the rosemary, the lavender, and the clove. Um, so like this recipe that I've used is 10 drops of bergamot, five drops of rosemary, five drops of lavender, and three drops of clove. You kind of going to mix it to the smell that you prefer and your man in mind will prefer. Um, if they like more citrusy, then go heavier on the bergamot like this recipe does. If they're not into citrus, I wouldn't recommend going stronger on that. I would recommend going stronger on the clove. So you just kind of mix it, you play with it, you figure it out. And then once you've got your oils in your bottle, then you chop it off with V6, give it a good, not a shake, but a good swirl. And uh, you can do a label, a fun label. And uh, I tell you, this beard oil, every man I've given it to loves it, raves about it, talks about it for months. And then usually their women come asking for Father's Day for a refill because this gift just goes over so well. So don't forget the men in your life with oily gifts for Christmas. Janelle, do you have another one? Nope. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> so I think we're all good then for tonight. Everybody have oily gifts for next week in mind? If anyone's watching this live or watching the replay, please do give us suggestions of things. Like if you've got someone in your life that you're like, I really, I just don't know what to make this person. I have no idea. Let us know in the comments because we would love to find something that we can help you with. Or if you're like, hey, I've got these oils, what can I make with them? We would love to help find things. We love being creative and problem solving, don't we? So by all means, let us know. I'm just checking comments quick. And Janelle, do you have anybody to add to the prize wheel? And I've got Jacqueline, Jackie, I've got her. And I, Wendy, you're watching live, so I've got you. I'm just checking my list here from people from last week. Yep. Because anyone who watched last week also gets added in here. And I've got everyone who's watching live tonight in here twice. Oh, hang on, missing one person. Okay. All right, Anne, Janelle, anybody? No? All right, so share screen. Yep, yep, yep. All right, can everybody see? Yes? Okay, good. And spin for the prize, ready? Go! See, with only one entry, people can still win. That's just one like. That's all you have to do is one like or one comment or one share or watch the replay. It's not that hard and you get free stuff. So awesome. Congratulations. All right. So if that's everything, I think I'll close us out. Sound good? Awesome. Well, you all have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining us for this half an hour of DIY Christmas gifts. And we will see you same time, same place next week. Awesome. Bye. Bye.